Hello viewers and welcome once again. This is uh, going to be game three here of the show match, King of the Hill show match number five, week five. We've got our challenger here, QXE, spawning once again as the purple Terran in the bottom left hand corner. That seems to be his signature color. Uh, Rhett on the other hand just doesn't care if he gets red, blue or whatnot. Um, but he's going to be spawning as the red Zerg in the top right hand corner. I do like it when Zergs are red because uh, when they're blue, it's really hard for me as a colorblind person to see their units on top of creep. Uh, it's even worse when the opposing player is blue because then I don't see drops, I don't see yada yada. But I have been staring at the minimap more so it's easier to see that kind of stuff. Uh, anyways, big thanks once again to sc2casts.com. Check out this banner here, check out their website. A uh, great website for a compilation of VODs. You don't have to go hunting through YouTube to get them. Just go ahead and check out sc2casts.com. $100 courtesy of them goes to the winner. And the series is tied 1-1. Third map here is on Zalnaga Caverns. And uh, QXC with some very nice harassment. I think that's what he needs to, comp or to uh, combat Rhett's style of gameplay with his Mutalisk Ling Baneling. Uh, he definitely needs to put early pressure on and cause Q or sorry, cause Rhett to not be able to drone up as much as he'd like and not get that third base as fast as he can because a third base, uh, third basing Zerg can be very, very overpowered when they're going for Mutalisk. Not overpowered, just very hard to stop. But uh, QXE tried to delay this expansion as long as he could, but his micro just wasn't quite there. Um, he pulled back a little bit too far really hard to do. You can put down a supply depot or an engineering bay. As a Protoss player, I almost always put down a pylon. If I go into the base, do not see a uh, spawning pool. I just go right Im immediately out to their natural and put down a pylon. Uh, sometimes I'll cancel it, sometimes I won't. But delaying it at, at all just puts the Zerg player in a very bad position. Um, QXE's keeping his SCV here. The Overlord's pulling away. If QXE chooses to do what he did last game, it may be a little bit more effective this game um, with the bunker, but it looks like he's not going to do it. He's going to pull his units back. Uh, there is a Marine on the way already, so maybe if that Marine meets up with this SCV, there will be a bunker in play. But uh, I don't think it'll work this time once again because the spawning pool's almost finished. Uh, the gas is finished as well. Uh, he's got enough minerals for a queen and then for about well, four or six uh, zerglings, depending on what he wants to do. Uh, the marine's a little bit farther behind than the, uh, the SCV would like. But uh, the hatchery is done and the bunker is going down. Not sure how effective this is going to be. The creep's already spreading. It'll be just in range for these marines to, uh, to pick off the hatchery. But... Uh, I don't know, he's only got a second marine here, and the rush distance on Zalnogger Caverns is not exactly short. Uh, that SCV is going to get picked off. No, is he going to get the bunker finished? Oh, this is close. He is going to finish the bunker, but now the Zerglings and the drones are going to shoo off these marines. Is the marine going to get in the bunker? Yes, he does. He's got a second friend here on the way, and in this, the friend is also going to get in the bunker. Uh, he's going to try to pick off an overlord, but uh, no. Overlord's going to be gone. Marine's just patrolling to see what's there to kill. Uh, he's not doing damage. He should be here in the bunker killing off this hatchery. But uh, second queen is here already. That was a long walk distance for her because when they're off creep, they are just so slow. Uh, the Marine's got to be careful, though. That queen did have their attack animation going. But uh, only got one hit, I think. Is it two times? Four times two. That's weird. So maybe it only hit, like, one of those attacks? Oh, yeah, that's weird. So the animation happened, but only one attack actually finished. Weird. Hellion is here as well. Uh, Zerglings are coming up from behind to try to take out the bunker, but uh, those... <laughs> that Hellion does roast those Zerglings fairly quickly. He's gonna need roaches or queens in order to kill this. The third queen, is it on the way? It is not on the way. I'm a little... ...that... Uh, we've all seen Rhett's playstyle lately. He loves to get a third queen up really fast, and really not caring about this, <laughs> about this harassment that's going on on at his expansion. Uh, he's morphing his natural expansion hatchery right into a lair right in front of QXE. So basically saying, yeah, look, I'm not threatened by this. I'm gonna go to lair tech and not let you bother me. It's only two marines. Uh, they take so long to kill off a hatchery. 
Uh, the Marine, or sorry, the Zerglings are coming in. Speed kicked in. Looks like he may go for a counter attack, or he may be just trying to pick off any re reinforcements. And it was in fact the reinforcements. He's gonna get gonna get in here. Picks off the SCV. Yes, he is gonna pick off the SCV. At the same time, he splits off a few Zerglings, kills off the Hellion. You really could not have cleaned up that any better than Rhett did just right there. Uh, so important to note, he didn't overproduce Lings. He did produce quite a few, but he is going to make them uh, useful on the map. He's going to go do some harassment. He's going to get a few shots on this command center. Uh, he could have ran up here, but would have got killed. Um, but anyways, he didn't overproduce. He didn't even bother going to a Roach Warren. A lot of places, would, a lot of players would have been saying, "Oh, I need to produce a Roach Warren." So. Uh, I can fend this off, and they would have wasted 150 minerals. Uh, Rhett just doing so with the right number of, of uh, Zerglings and the right number of Queens. He almost lost a Queen, but he didn't. Kept it alive. Uh, those Queens are going to be very beneficial to him because, uh, yeah, QXC's going Banshees. So he's going to need those Queens to fend off these any Banshee attacks that are on the way. Zerglings moving out of, way, out of the way at the wrong time. If they would have been up at the Zelnaga Watchtower, they would have seen that Banshee coming. Uh, but they are just going to go ahead and try to hit these SCVs. I would like them to see to pick off this mule. It's pretty much at full life. That would have been about 250 minerals lost. Uh, full, obviously a full mule is 270 minerals. But uh, nonetheless, we do have this Banshee coming in. He's going to pick off this low health queen very quickly. Uh, that's one of his kills. He's going to go ahead and pick off one drone, two drones. Wow, uh, three... Is he going to get a fourth? Yes, he does get a fourth. Uh, is he going to get a fifth? No, he is forced to back away because there are two queens here and there is already one queen up here. That Banshee, ooh, he may go down. Oh, no, the queen kind of bugs out. Is this Banshee going to get away? Oh, it is with five health left, five kills, one of them being a queen. That is very effective, and he did see the Spire, so he knows what's going on. Did he see the Baneling Nest? No, the Baneling Nest, uh, I don't think he did should double check. No, he didn't see the Baneling Nest. So he's not going to be quite sure that's coming. Although, when you see Mutas and you know a Zerg player is playing this way, I'm sure he's expecting it. Queen's continuing to spew Larva. I do like that. Uh, them could afford to put down a Creep Tumor over here. Um, probably not here yet. This is something I've been mulling around a little bit. <clears throat> Do you think it would be worth it for a queen to delay spewing larva a few seconds, like say five energy, um, instead of spewing spewing larva right away, like like Rhett di just did? Do you think once you get up to the three-ish bases, or even early in the game, say you're still on two bases and you don't have the creep spread like this, do you think it would be worth it to wait for an extra five energy every time you spew larva? So. You know what I mean? Like, you'd have, like, an extra 50 energy after about four larva spews, and then you could put down a creep tumor. Instead of delaying three larva, or sorry, four larva right away, you could just delay each larva, like, a few seconds. I, 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 I don't know if I'm explaining it, what I mean very well, but um, on paper, it seems like it would be a fairly effective, because at this point in the game, like, your timing isn't so crazy that you need to have those four units out right away um, and it would let you get a creep tumor if you aren't producing a third queen uh, right away <clears throat> but anyways enough above my theory crafting garbage um, mutalisks are just used for map control purely at this point raven out in the field once again uh, is seeker missile upgraded yes it is the corvid reactor is not uh, oh I can't even tell right now but no I don't think it is uh, nice job with the Ravens. I was talking about this in the first game. Uh, this is pretty much crucial for a Terran player to use uh, at this point in the game to clear off creep tumors and make Banelings and Zerglings a lot less effective. And Seeker, miss Seeker Missile here going to try to kill off some Banelings. It gets quite a few. Lots of Banelings are very low on health. The Marines and Marauders should be able to clean up those fairly quickly. But there are Zerglings here in the mix now as well, and that's going to draw a lot of fire away from the Banelings. The Banelings may be able to do a lot of damage. Oh, that was a... Okay. Even even though QXC lost his whole army, uh, he did force Rhett to to lose a lot of the Banelings that he probably didn't want to. This The spread of those Marines and Marauders was just baller. 
uh, instead of just letting like two banelings kill off your whole army, he did force to spend uh, or force uh, Rhett to spend like eight of those banelings to kill off the army. Um, although Rhett's army now is getting fairly large, I'm not sure what he's going to be able to do uh, to combat this. There's a lot of meta medevacs out in the field. A raven here, almost with enough energy for seeker missile. Is it going to get used on these mutas? I think it may. If he can draw the mutas into the to the uh, marines. Ooh. They're going to fly right into the main. QXE's forced to stim up on his units that are outside. The Raven gets picked off, but he does get a Seeker Missile. That was fantastic. i got to watch that again because oh, I love Seeker Missile. It doesn't get used nearly enough. And I'm even going to slow that down because that Seeker Missile is coming. Oh, he sacrifices himself, but he blows up like a ton of those Mutalisks. That is fantastic. A lot of them are weakened. Rhett is going to be forced to retreat with these mutas. Uh, if he sacrifices them by running into the main right now or running anywhere near QXE's army, he is going to lose them all. But uh, QXE probably sees this. He maybe could have stimmed and caught them. But uh, it's good that he didn't because there's a ton of Zerglings and Banelings here as well. This is a lot of units for QXE to deal with. And uh, he doesn't have his units grouped into a different group, so all of his units are just on one control group. But he's going to pull back just far enough to deal with this, I think. The bunker is going to go down. Wow, that goes down very quick. The mutas are so low health, but they just don't care. Wow, Baneling's causing havoc on all of these SCVs. One more Baneling would have taken out pretty much everything. Um, QXC, I don't think, was really ready for that. He is not quite on three bases yet. Rhett is on a full three bases, pretty much fully saturated here. Uh, his third, sec well, sixth gas geyser could use some more workers, but uh, QXE tries to take his third base and it's going to get instantaneously denied. And the, mer uh, the sorry, mutas are going to be able to pick off this command center. I don't think it's going to be able to fly away. The bounces are even hitting the rocks. That's pretty cool. Uh, I didn't know that would happen. So the mutas get out. They get a free command center as uh, Rhett looks to take his 4th and 5th base at the same time. So taking this time and this advantage to double expo, uh, fantastic job by him at this point. I really thought that QXE would have, been, would have been able to take control with those Ravens and that Seeker, miss, seeker Missile. I don't know why I want to keep saying Seeker, whatever. I think it's because a lot of people pronounce Missile Missile, and then I'm thinking like Seeker Missile or ah, whatever, tongue-tied. But, uh, wow, that turret gets picking off, picked off so fast. There's uh, 17 mutas here, picks off a couple SCVs, picks off a turret, and he looks like he only lost one mutalisk there, or did he lose a lot more? No, just one. And meanwhile, his uh, ground army is flying all over, sorry, running all over the place. Uh, QXC's dropships, or medevacs, are flying all over, all over the place. Uh, landing a few of them to pick off an overlord, but no, the overlord gets out just in time. And these marines are dead meat. Oh yeah, marines die. Die. Rhett has domination of this game. So just like game one, uh, he's dominating game two and or sorry, game three in about the same way. There is another Raven out in the field for QXC. I'm um, curious what the upgrades are like if Rhett's being very active. He's at 1-1 one, one for his melee, and he's at 2-0 oh again for his Mutalisks. That seems to be his key, uh, key area, is the 2-0. Oh. Is he at a Hive technology? I don't think so. There's an engagement here. Uh, he is not at Hive. The Mutas just get out of there. Uh, they don't pick off anything. They pick off an SD SCV constructing this factory, but nothing else. Uh, they are running out, and at the same time... Yes, sorry, Hive is on the way. Uh, I jumped back to here to see it. Oh, at the same time, of course, uh, <laughs> Rhett being the baller that he is, just running his Mutalisks out, at the same time running all of his uh, Zerglings and Banelings in here. They take out the tank. Are they going to get any SCVs? Oh, yes. Pretty much demolished QXC's whole mineral line. This was fully saturated, down to four workers. One in gas, three. Oh. And now, oh, even for worse, the mutalisks, mutalisks are going to come in again and pick off anything they can. Um, yeah, that's pretty much going to be it for QXC. I don't think there's much he can do. He's not mining at this point. He's flying a base to take his, his gold, but he's not even going to get there. Uh, he does GG. So, yeah, our champion Rhett is up two games to one. 
Uh, stay tuned for game four. I don't know what map it's going to be on, but uh, it's coming right up.